Hey guys, before the next video, I'd like to discuss crowdfunding the next tournament. So I got this idea from one of the comments in my video, and I thought I'll check it out. Seems like a pretty good idea. And I did a bit of research, and it does. Nothing seems to be stopping me from doing it. Uh, tax and all that, that's all, should be all taken care of. So I am planning to go ahead with this. Um, just firstly wanted to go run it by the community to see what your thoughts are, uh, if you would participate. And yeah, uh, if you have any ideas on how it should be done, and also uh, how it how this actually all works. I'm not sure how crowdfunding works. Like, will let's say if I set the thousand dollar limit on this GoFund to me, what happens if it goes over? Can we add to the price pool, or does it just stop? Uh, how does that work? Um, so the details, I guess, are yet to be decided. But I've kind of thought about having prizes based on a, uh, certain achievements, not based on. 100% all on placing, like the first player will get the majority of the prize, but not a huge amount because um, the, the people entering won't really have a chance of winning because of certain players always dominating the first position. So if, uh, first we'll get 25%, 250, uh, second 2%, third and fourth 15%, and some other non-placing type Achievements such as most improved player, best sportsman, etc. will get prizes too. So everyone will have a chance of winning. Um, so those are my ideas. I'll put in a hundred bucks myself and my YouTube revenue, which isn't much, but um, be good for the community. Uh, maybe for the last tournament that we'll have before these new games come out, Soldiers and Go Gates of Hell and all these other ones. Uh, it's going to be on the World at War mod. Obviously there's going to be balance issues here and there. But not too much, I don't think. I can't really find any issues now. Um, but yeah, they'll be fixing the fly. If there's an issue that's game breaking, I guess I can decide on a restart here and there. But I doubt there will be any. Um, so I'm going to be impartial, obviously, impartial judge. I'm not going to be participating in this tournament. Um, yeah, so any, if anyone acts up, like there's going to be, I'm guessing there's going to be some people who will pull plugs, name call, make excuses. If any of that looks fishy to me, you're just out. Simple as that. Just don't act up and you won't risk getting kicked. It's just the way it has to be run In if there's money on the line, like quite a bit of money. So anyway, guys, let me know what you think. Uh, enjoy the cast. G'day, guys. Welcome to the... Grand Finals of the lower bracket, or the semi-finals. And we have 5TA from Russia, Tedessa, and Kronetsteiger, they're the Commonwealths, and they've got an Assault Squad. No, they've got a regular squad, very interesting. And what does the other team have, Simus? Yeah, hey Strat, it looks like we've got Assault Squads on uh, both sides. And a lot of singles, really, as Japanese, they've to just spammed the single SMGs, it looks like. The single SMGs. Uh, definitely the meta. Mr. Pringles is going to face off with Tedessa. He's gone off to the uh, wall area, which will provide lots of good cover and shooting positions towards the center. MG is in a very awkward position for Tedessa. You get quite easily outflanked by the majority of the Japanese troops. As on the eastern point, we have Achantis going up with Kunnestiger. Looks like Achantis will get that point with having the more men behind cover. And on the northern western point, we have the Japanese team taking it uncontested. So Mr. Pringles and Achantis looking very strong after, I guess, defeating defeating us. What is your uh, prediction on this match? Uh, it's a good question. Uh, you know, I think 5TA is such a solid team, but I don't know. I mean, if, if you... If, <laughs> I would go with Pringles and Achantis. <laughs> Um, I'm laughing because I think we already know the result, but <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what you want me to tell you, but um, you if I didn't know the result, me. I would go with the Chanis and Pringles <laughs> just because of their uh, individual skill. Uh, but like I said, 5TA has been playing together for so long. They're so experienced playing together. Indeed, we, we have no idea who's going to win this. Uh, don't listen to Simus. I've never seen the results of this match. <laughs> so <laughs> I don't know who's going to win. Um, if it was me, I think uh, definitely going to a Chantis and Pringles, their superior skill individually would probably be too much for 5TA, who work very well as a team. They're the most defensive team in the tournament. Uh, uniquely always going regular squads and MGs. But uh, Chantis and Pringles uh, coming first and second in the previous 1v1 tournaments are going to 
be able to out micro and outskill the opponents and looks like Pringles is doing so in the right of the center he's infested the little housing area or uh, farm farmyard area it's gonna be quite hard to approach the center but they do have a decent MG line there's two MGs one from Tedessa one from Kanestaga just to the left of the middle and on the eastern point uh, Chantas is still holding his point and looks like he'll, he'll hold it quite strong with those SMGs uh, and not contesting the northern point so this is 5TA's usual strategy isn't it just holding on to a few flags oh yeah you're exactly right you know it's funny because they started off with that SAS elite MG uh, call he's only got one kill though uh, but he's actually managed to uh, I guess just hold the middle and not let it get capped so it's done its job right yeah there's MGs actually are doing okay it's five kills for one of them and that's pretty much made its money worth as a Bren. Bren's only like, what, 40, 45 MP? I can't remember, actually. Yeah, well, 50. 50 like is 50? Okay, close, so yeah. it did make its money's worth already. And now it can just do extra damage. As we've just... Uh, no one's escalating yet. Oh, actually. Do I see an emplacement? Said, yep, the Oli Convoy from this is always a safe one from the UK. And... On the Japanese team, we have a same buy 20 mil 2 safe buys. And we'll probably escalate to tank on... Tank to take them out, so guessing a Chihi from the Japanese team and possibly a Cromwell. What do you think of that? Maybe a Cromwell or a Sherman? Uh, yeah, uh, I guess it just depends on the MP, right? If they see a Chihi, uh, uh, you can go with Cromwell. Uh, if you see a Chinu, uh, you really don't want to bring out a Cromwell, so and looks like we do have a Chihi already coming out though. Mr. Pringles so. heading straight from the center right, oh, from the right to just that. Oh, what a shot this misses. Probably not a, shot, a good shot. And Tedessa is able to sneak away behind that house. Only a few infantry get killed. And Pringles is falling back as he does have no line of sight to the left of the Chihi. So we're still waiting for that assault squad from Achantus. And the flak is coming in also from the left. And we should be able to cover the center soon. On the left though, Conus Tiger is really pressuring hard. He's built a sandbag wall with an MG in cover and sending some... Assault squads are now to storm and the kamikazes from the Chantas are moving in but they're going to be mowed down soon I think. They're probably on hold fire and yep, just, just been wasted unfortunately. Probably a better bet to sneak on the right side where there's not too much but you can see it's really hard to sneak anything uh, from 5TA's lines. They've got troops everywhere you see on the right. So there's no space to really sneak through. That uh, 20 mils getting uh, some okay shots down this line though. Uh, on this eastern flag, so the 20 mil should really effectively clear out uh, any of that uh, inventory and hold that flag, certainly. Yeah, that's that's really why the 5TA defensive meta, I guess, hasn't really worked other than with 5TA because of the 20 mils, but uh, I, can, I probably eat my words uh, since this tournament because 5TA has been doing very well. And that 20 mil though, is making short work of the sandbag line of Kunis Tiger. As in the center, the MGs are still alive from Konestaga. Chihi just trying to shoot down the houses. As Mr. Pringles is now capping with some recruits in the center point. Is that the Orlicon? Yeah, the Orlicon's still alive. And still no tank counter from the 5TA team. That's very interesting. It must be banking well, for something well, big. Yeah, they have a two pounder. They have a two pounder on the uh, eastern. Uh Eastern side, but I don't. It's gonna get decrewed. Uh, Ooh, maybe get one one nice HE shell. Two pounders quite accurate, so it could take out the twenty mil. Oh, AP reloaded. Oh, there it goes. Nice shot. It can load the HE shell now. It's in range to just take it out with the HE. Let's see what happens. I think I see a six pounder as well, uh, spawned from five T eight, which should definitely counter the Chi He. Quite a hard map, I think, though, for the emplacement, and it's quite wide being a diamond shaped it's map. It's wide and there's so much cover with all these houses, right? Exactly. As the lucky 20 mil just escapes with the skin of his teeth, Chihi now is going to try to take out that two pounder. Doesn't need to perhaps as the Chantas has an assault squad with a oh, recruit guy with a grenade has just knocked out the crew and there goes the two pounder from the Chihi. So wow, <laughs> that's 33-0. Uh, it's, yeah. uh, it's really one-sided so far. Uh, although Tedesser's coming back in the middle, though, he's got a nice uh, couple guys in here decapping, and he's actually pushed off the really all the middle troops. He's actually infesting this uh, this little town here and the little uh, I don't know what that is. Yeah, that's quite, quite funny. I, I guess the 
Um, yeah, I guess the, a barn, I'd like to call it. I don't know. They've infested, Pringles infested quite well to the right, but you can see 5TA is just totally avoiding that position and trying to hold the flag between the center and the southeastern point. And they've done that all game to stop the 5 cap at least. So 38 to 0, even though they have lost most of the flags, four flags all game, um, it's still uh, still early days with Sherman from Kunis Tiger coming out to counter the Chihi. Achantis does know this and is reversing away. Let's see if we can get a nice shot. Wow, just seeing a brand mode down stacks of recruits there, so I was oh <laughs> check out that Ooh. shot. Wow, that was a dirty shot right there. That was nice. <laughs> Very nice. <laughs> wow. But uh yeah, Pringles is actually getting pushed back. Tedessa is pushing from the center towards Pringles zone D. But the home guy is yeah, the Homeland Fury is out, so, so that uh, number of MGs should really help solidify <laughs> that that area yeah. there. Nasty, a lot of good stonewall cover. They're going to be uncounterable unless the 20 mil uh, comes out, uh, which I think they bought another one. The other 20 mil must have died, I, I missed that one. Yeah, I missed it as well. Yeah, it looks like another 20 mil and why. I noticed that uh, Tedesco's got a large uh, amount of troops kind of, kind of building up on this, uh, I guess, western point. I think he's just probing it right now just to see what the opposition is. Uh, yeah, they're, they're spaced out well, not doing a whole lot though. Yeah, they're, they've always, uh, they always spaced their troops very well, uh, but they're in firing range and you can see, you're right, Tedessa's coming in with a half track to follow up, he was just probing it and also with the Black Watch I believe, yep, following to just take it the uh, west yes. and that's a good idea, they haven't really pressured or attacked that point the whole game and it is very weak, that point has been lightly defended, but that's definitely uh, a good choice though by Imperial, who know that who know that 5TA will probably not go for all the flags, but now they are. Tedessa coming in with the half track and should be able to easily mop up. No counter in sight uh, for Imperial. Um, and that's the mortars, mortars are out now, so that's going to be a bit of a pain, especially versus 5TA. I think mortars are pretty good versus them. Yeah, especially with their emplacement uh, buys. Uh, the problem is that mortar is going to take I don't know, three minutes to get to the firing range. <laughs> yeah. uh, it's so slow, it's the only downside, I guess. Uh, but I think uh, uh, the, the the Japanese team has a really nice lead. It's gonna, I think it'll be a good buy. It should pay off for them. Wow. I am noticing a nice kamikaze sneak, though. Wait, wait, wait. On I... the uh, southern point, or southern area, may get this Orlicon, or it may not want to reveal itself I so early. It. Oh, here he goes. It's glitched. What's it doing? I don't know. It's got it. It's oh, there got you it. Go. Boom! Nice one there from Achantis, knife behind the lines. He didn't go for the Sherman, that's funny, he went for the Olicon because I guess he knew the Cheeto, the Cheeto that's out um, can easily counter it no matter what. Uh, 20 mil trying to track it at the same time. And this is pain now for the UK team. As soon as the Cheeto's out, they kind of lack the counters. The Comet just won't do in my opinion. And there's really nothing else other than a nice slide shot maybe from a 17 pounder or a lucky 95 mil shot. Uh, yeah, what the 90 build comes out. 95 comes out in a minute, so uh, you can kind of play around in these buildings. I, anything really within APCR range could take the Cheeto out. I mean, in theory, <laughs> oh, <laughs> against these top top quality teams, it's tough to get in that range. So true. Yeah, Cheeto can definitely, I guess, counter things uh, from the UK, but you can definitely outplay them. But it's kind of hard to outplay players that are, I guess, of the top tier when you are there only when you're, I guess, even with them as Cheeto has been moving back, just a bit playing a bit more safe, but I guess the radio ops are going to be very effective, um, as we have seen with 5TA using radio ops every single game, killing those massive tanks. Yeah, and that comes out in 40 seconds, so, um, you know, either that, the 95 plus the radio op, uh, it's interesting seeing what, what, what they're going to go with. Do you have any, uh, yeah. any predictions? I don't know, they're, they're quite versatile in my opinion. I've seen them go 95, I've seen them go radio op, in my opinion, they're probably both. So I haven't yeah, seen too much. Right. I've just seen Black Watch. I haven't seen any Anzacs. Have you? No, I haven't. We're watching. Uh, I'm expecting to this, or I guess you are too. And he's got seven special points left. So yeah, he really has flexibility to go a, a lot of different probably uh, items here. I'm guessing the same as they don't usually spend their special points early, as the Sherman has been taken out by the Cheeto. Uh, let's see on the right. On let's see how the situation is on the flags. Wow, look at the ammunition on the. East and southern point, you can see how ineffective, I guess, the Kunitstaga's troops are in killing the Chantas. As you can see, all of them are out of ammunition. Yeah, 
So on the western point uh, to this, I did take that. So it's they're finally on the board, I think. It's uh, 0 to 55. Uh, Assault Squad from Conestoga going to try take the Eastern. The 20 mil is not there anymore, so it could be a possibility. Uh, in the center, the mortar is now shooting down. But, oh, the Banzai call from Pringles. This is going to oh, be hard to hard to stop right now. This is a great timing here with no counter in sight for 5 8 And I think they'll have to buy a response buy for that. It looks like they had, they're bringing out a six pounder, so that's it's a it's a good buy for the tanks, anyways. It's Not gonna, so much the infantry, mm, but it's going to take a while. Twenty mil can get a side shot off one chiha. Oh, does actually out of range, it's struggling to penetrate the side. Now two of the chihas can take it out, and there goes oh. that twenty mil. Wow, this definitely is going to overwhelm the UK team. Especially uh, those the chihas are are very underestimated. I I personally am a big <laughs> fan of them. Uh, you have to be pretty close to penetrate, even with the 20 mil, so... Yeah, it's actually uh, a decent counter. Instead, of, range. instead yep. of a Chihi, it's a possibility, but I guess you can't... It's pretty hard to counter Cromwell or Sherman with a Chiha. But <laughs> definitely <laughs> versus 20 mils, yeah. 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 Oh, wow, 6 yeah. banners taking out Chiha. The Banzai call also is quite underestimated. It's like the charge of the Japanese team. Uh, so the paratroopers don't actually cost... I don't think they cost CP, to be honest. Uh, it's just the Chihas are sent to suicide and the paratroopers are basically free troops on the field. And that's what Pringles is using them for right now. And he's uh, going to start infesting once again. And it's almost a 5 cap, 61 to 3. Oh, it doesn't look good for UK. Oh, I'm curious. He moved that 6 pounder back without actually killing either of the tanks. Wow, he's, unless, yeah. unless that's not on your replay. <laughs> <laughs> no, he's too. I think he's scared of the water that's firing now. Ah, right, right, right. Playing very yep. cautiously, but maybe that's not the time to do so now, as it's just too much. The pressure's too strong. The grenading, the attacking all over the points, and this is the problem with the 5TA's play sometimes. They're saving their special points, but as UK, that's what you need to do. There's not too much firepower down the heavy special point tree, other than the... 95 meal in my opinion and right they, which oh there's a radio op there it is the radio op is on the field somewhere i don't know where it was fired from but it looks like it's about to take out that 20 mil in the middle can i do it in center yep nice it's done it um hmm 70 to 3 and the pressure's still on the chantis is coming with another assault squad and that mortar is slowly whittling away the forces of 5t8 as well and they've got a free flag to walk in there for a 5 cap very soon. Two. Hey, you're right, Strat. I mean, Tedesser could have gone with a special point a long time ago. It looks like he, no, they still didn't buy a special point. He had Valentine coming on the field. <laughs> they're, so. they're low on money. You can see the MP yes, is, yeah, 40 MP for Tedesser. Low uh, on money, but high on uh, special points. Yeah, 7. You don't need 7 SP as UK, because UK, you, you don't have a, a Tiger to save for. No one they buys. forget what team they're playing for. <laughs> yeah, probably trying to buy a tiger. <laughs> yeah, interesting. Yeah, oh, wow. Look at the infantry weight too. There's nothing really. They've got a good spread of infantry five TA, but they're just a few dots all over the map. It's yeah, not, nothing to weight. They're all basic troops. Nothing None to attack. No, yeah, and right, any, anything exactly. of weight will just get hit by the one fifty mortar. Uh, there's no counter for the 150 mortar as well. Where is that 95 to kill the, kill the mortar? Where is the tulip? Uh, there's nothing to counter tanks, nothing to counter anything. Only the Valentine to counter the Chiha, but... Not gonna take out that Cheeto. <laughs> I'll tell you that right now. <laughs> Fringles is a Cheeto too. Oh, wow. This is... There's 100% no chance. There's even a Hago rolling into the, the center. And, yeah. There is absolute zero zero chance of coming back with this in my opinion. I think Pringles and Ashanis know this. They're just they're just throwing everything they have at it right now. Just trying to keep that last point decapped. And uh the score's gonna take up in no time. And the comet Eight, is three, out. Three. Oh wow, comet. At uh but, yeah two Cheetos, oh no chance. And then right. in in Best Land, it's just incredible how you can work together with tanks. And they're angle, they're in the best positions to do flank play. So one Cheeto can hit the side, the other Cheeto can hit the front. Um, so you can't hide, basically. And that Comet now is going to get side shot. Yep. You can see a Chantus able to peek oh, a bit from yeah, the side. Nice. 
best land is a horrible, a horrible to have one tank versus two. <laughs> and <laughs> two shots, and it's done. It's done. <laughs> oh well, it quit. So I guess they won that. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> Well, that was game. I don't know what they were saving their special points by. Oh, we, I guess we can analyze the, let's see the game results, uh, resources. Wow. They've spent a lot of resources. Kill wise, wow, they've just been dominated, I guess, in kills overall. Cheeto. Yeah. I don't know what Tedesta is saving his special points by. I'm, I'm not sure. Huh. Maybe he just was CP, CP capped when he didn't think he was or something like that. You know, sometimes that happens. Yeah, I don't know. Just, uh, there was definitely a mistake there. Oh, well. Uh, still another life, I guess. So the loser of this match will be out, really. It's a best out of three. Uh, grand finals of the lower bracket. Uh, let's see who, how they go next match. Thanks, Linus. All right. Thanks, Trout.